what it is at about 1.32 in the morning. Uh, Bobby's sitting across from me, and Dick Rosmini's sitting over here as a company, and I'm sitting here alone. So I order something. I said, let me, I'll, I said, I, I'd like a bowl of soup. Let me have matzo ball soup. I'll take a matzo ball soup, and then I'll order a corned beef sandwich, whatever I did. And Bobby ordered whatever he ordered. I don't know. So the guy, <laughs> the, waiter, he, the waiter brings our order over. So he sits the matzo ball soup in front of me. And these are true stories. And he said, it's like, you know, I'm a hypochondriac, so I spit on the spoon a little bit, and I wipe the spoon there like that. And then I look down, and there's a hairpin in it. <laughs> the hairpin in the matzo ball soup. I said, good God. I said, what is this? I said, I pulled it out. I showed it to Bobby. He starts to laugh like hell. I said, I got a hairpin. I didn't order hairpin, Bobby. I didn't order. I ordered matzo ball. Where's the hairpin? So I put that down. Now I'm swinging, and there's a long black hair in there. Jeez, I said, I don't believe this. So I pull out the hair, and Bobby is laughing his ass off now. He can't believe it. He said, I, I said, what the hell is going on? I said, got a, I, I said, I got a bowl of matzo ball in junkyard. I mean, what, jeez, I didn't order matzo ball in junkyard. So I, I put it down, and then I, I start to cut into the matzo ball, and there's a rusty little nail. There's a rusty nail. I said, good God. Almighty. And I pull it out while well, Bobby goes off the seat. He fell into the, he got up and just fell over. He's laughing hysterically. I said, a hairpin. I, I said, a hair, long black hair and a rusty nail. He's, Bobby Darren's going crazy. So I, I, so I called the guy over and said, I'm not paying for this. I'm not eating it. This is the most ridiculous thing I've ever, what the, what the fuck do you got going back there for God's sakes? He said, well, I don't know. I just serve it. So I said to the guy, so now the owner, big tall guy, he was the owner, a Jewish guy, sort of heavyweight. And I said, God, this is terrible. I stood up and said, what are you serving in here anyway? I know Detroit, you got a lot of cars and junk and everything, but you don't put him in a bowl of soup. I said, well, I said, forget that. I said, forget this. Let me have, let me have a pastrami sandwich. He says, okay. Now, this is what he does. He goes, pastrami sandwich with the nose. He's grabbing it. He's going, okay. And he grabs the bread. I said, oh, come on. He's going like this with the nose. And then he grabs the loaf of bread and he slices up the bread for a sandwich. I called the guy over. I said, forget it. <laughs> I'm not even going to forget it. Bobby Darren's going crazy. He's laughing. I said, what are you laughing for? You're eating a sandwich, aren't you? <laughs> he said, I never thought about that. You're eating it too, schmuck. How do you like that? 